It turned out to be a really nice day today. We did see a lot of sunshine. Clouds started to work their way back in. Of course, we do have mostly cloudy skies across the region tonight on all of our sky cams. However, we aren't tracking any active weather tonight. So despite the cloud cover, it'll be a quiet and warm night. Temperatures this evening are still up into the 50s for many of us. The coolest areas back into the mid 40s. Mount Vernon at 45 degrees and Carmi at 46. Uh, parts of Western Kentucky, Paducah, Murray, Sykeston, Cape Girardeau, all at 50 degrees. So really not a bad night, especially for January. Overnight tonight, we'll see the clouds sticking around a southerly wind. That'll keep us warm, but it'll also bring a chance for some patchy fog and drizzle through the overnight hours and into early tomorrow. So by the time we get to Wednesday, we're still tracking above average temperatures. It just won't be quite as nice as today. A lot more clouds in the area and that off and on patchy drizzle drizzle, especially during the morning hours. And then by Wednesday night into Thursday, we are still tracking that next big system making its way in. That'll bring the chances for some rain and storms. So a wide look of the satellite and radar. Lots of clouds across the area right now. But aside from that, we are quiet here at home. That will continue overnight tonight. By the time we get into the very early morning hours, those little green spots showing up, light drizzle, patchy fog to start the day on Wednesday. Mostly cloudy skies stick around throughout the entire day with those winds out of the south. As the back side of the system comes through with that cold front, that'll start to move in after midnight on Wednesday, and that'll bring a chance for some thunderstorms. So late, late Wednesday night into early Thursday morning, there will be a chance for some lightning, a few rumbles of thunder, and maybe even some hail as this moves through. That cold front will work its way from the west to the east throughout the morning on Thursday. A few scattered showers will be possible into the afternoon behind the front as well. And then we're talking about a big change. Much cooler air will start to settle in when it comes to the rainfall forecast. Not expecting quite as much as we saw last week with that system. We are tracking generally on average about a half an inch of rainfall. So uh, again, a little bit of an active uh, time coming our way. You can get alerts sent to you with that Storm Track 3 app. Just download that right there on your phone ahead of the system tomorrow. We are still warm, so take advantage of it. We will wake up to temperatures in the low 50s to start the day tomorrow. And then by the time we get into the afternoon, climbing back up above average into the low 60s, 61 degrees for that high tomorrow. We will see temperatures in the 50s Thursday morning, but by the time we get into the afternoon, cooler air settles in behind that front and we're talking about high temperatures down into the upper 30s for Thursday and into Friday. So a bit more seasonable. We do rebound quite quickly though. By the time we get into the weekend and next week, temperatures will be back up into the 50s. So it is a short cold spell. After we get through the weekend as well, it'll be dry and then our next storm system will arrive Monday and into Tuesday, bringing back the chance for some rain and a few showers. Okay, but it's not as bad as it could be. I'm going to hold on to that. This is great right. for winter. I know. Thank God. All right. Thanks, Stacey.